Ultimate Outdoors. I'm T Mac. Today I'm going to do a video, a real quick video on beginning canning. Okay, this is going to be the equipment you're going to need for the beginning canner. Uh, this is a canner right here that you can pick up anywhere for I think it's less than 20 bucks. Looks like this. It comes with a rack that goes inside of it. You can put your cans in there and fill it over the top with water, usually about an inch over the lids, and process your cans. Uh, I don't use this very much because it's got my trap die in it and that's what I use to die traps in so but it's actually a canner like I said you can get them anywhere relatively inexpensive it's really good for salsas and pickles uh, as far as vegetables I go with this right here this is a pressure cooker uh, this pressure cooker has weights that you put on top of it and I really like it. It has a rack in the bottom of it and it really does a good job and you don't have a big gauge on top of here. You just put your weights on top and when it starts hissing set your timer and this is what you're going to need if you're going to do green beans, potatoes, stuff like that that isn't real acidic that has a chance of getting botulism inside the cans. Okay. Uh, some people swear you can use this for everything, but no. If you're doing green beans, peas, potatoes, use a pressure cooker. Okay, It's going to cook it all the way through, and that way you have no chance of getting any kind of bacteria growing inside your jars. I recommend you have both of these on hand. This right here is a little more expensive. These are, I think they're going for around 70 bucks now. So this you know a little bit of money but it really works good of course you got your cans here uh, your pint your quart and you can even get them bigger I think they give them the gallon I mean you can get some pretty big jars but for my pressure cooker pint and quarts all I need this book is essential it comes with your pressure cooker it has some recipes in here how long you need to pressure cook what and what for and this is a really good tool to have on hand. Now when you buy your jars they come with rings and lids. This is a ring, this is a lid. Once you use the lid and you crack that top, throw it away. And you always want to check out your lids for any kind of damage. This one has damage on this side so I wouldn't use it. Okay? I don't care if you can something and you bust the can open the next day don't reuse your lids okay they're cheap you can replace them quickly and after you've bought your jars this is the only thing you're going to have to replace your biggest expense is going to be jars but they come with lids and rings you buy your lids package like this at 12 for under two bucks so now these are a little more expensive but you can keep track of these just maintain them make sure they don't get a lot of rust in them or nothing like that you maintain these you can keep these for a long time and you always have them. Now this is a wide mouth ring and there's also regular mouth rings. Those are your two sizes. I like wide mouth for my pickles so I can get in there and get them. You know these work good for green beans and everything else but for pickles I like to have wide mouth tops. I use Kerr jars but there's Mason there's other kinds of jars, but I stick to Kerr and Mason. They make the best. Golden Harvest is a Mason jar. Really good jar. So those that's pretty much what you're going to need to get started, along with this little kit that comes. You can buy a kit that has all this stuff in it. This is a wide mouth funnel. Fits right in your jar so you're not spilling stuff and making a big mess gotta have one of those this is a magnetic you know, pickup when I'm getting my stuff ready to can I make sure my jars are clean I wash them then I will put them in here for a few minutes in boiling hot water and just let them process by empty rings and all throw in there so when you got that lid in there and it's hot you can reach in there with this you can pick it up you ain't going to burn yourself. That's a handy little tool right there. 
you know, you might have that. They they also sell these in the uh, tools aisle. Ex you know, one that extends out there a little further. That would work too. This just came with the canning kit. And I've melted the end off of it I don't know how many times. It's, I always seem to catch that on fire. Canning tongs. Really, really need these. This fits around the top of the can. Grab it, pick it up, out of the and put it down so you're not handling it. They are hot when they come out of there. I always have some sure gel on hand for making jelly stuff and uh, jams. You gotta have your sure gel or pectin, something like that, that you can add to it and it'll tell you on the box or in the recipe how much for what you're making. And then they have these on sale. Uh, I use these and people love them. They probably think I'm making some kind of special homemade stuff, but a lot of times it's just this right here. Quick, easy, you can buy these in the canning section. Salsa, you just add this, follow the ingredients, makes some of the best salsa you ever had. I cheat, yeah, good stuff right here. Pickles, this is for kosher deals. I'm going to be making some sweet pickles this year. So, but as far as kosher, kosher deals go, these little packs, they sell them for a little bit of nothing, like a, maybe a couple bucks, and it makes a lot of pickles. And all you need is water and vinegar, and we'll do that later on when I get some pickles going. But that's about it for canning as far as what you, the basics that you need. With this little bit of investment right here, you can put up a lot of food. So. I encourage you to get out there, grow your own food, and can your own food. And if you do it right, it can be some of the best eating out there. Stay tuned for some more canning videos. If you enjoyed this video, go like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. Let us know what you think. And God willing, I'll see you next time. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com and visit our online forum. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends, and hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land. Don't forget to get your copy of Trapping with T-Mac today. Almost 90 minutes of fun trapping action in the foothills of the Ozarks.